Hey everybody. So we're picking up an oversized load today with the double drop trailer. It's gonna be a building that's 12 and a half feet wide. I uh, will have to get permits, but I already know the route because I've picked up and hauled to this same location before. So let's check in and get loaded up and hit the road. So different places load these differently. Uh, everyone has their own method of doing things. There's more than one way to skin a cat. But the way they do it here is they lift it with two forklifts, one on each side. I get centered underneath it and then they lower it down on the deck of my trailer. Other places use overhead cranes, like if you're in a warehouse or whatnot, but here uh, we're loading outside in the yard. So we're gonna back on in underneath it, they'll lower it down, I'll throw uh, throw chains on it, secure it, wait on my permits, and, uh, and hit the road. So follow along. So the standard traffic lane is 12 feet wide. I'm 12 and a half feet wide. So what I'm doing here is I'm judging my distances or my width in my mirrors. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to have the majority of my overhang on the right side so that it's over onto the shoulder and not into oncoming traffic. So what I do is I pick a point on my hood that lines up uh, with that white line on the, on the side of the road. And once I find that reference point, I know that my my load will not be uh, on the opposite side of the yellow line. I'm also be scanning ahead, looking for any kind of obstacles or hazards on the shoulder, because um, the last thing we want to do is we want to you know hit a car or take somebody's mailbox out uh, on the shoulder. But it re really comes into play when we're on the highway, because there's a lot more cars and trucks and everything like that that pull over to the side of the road. Uh, what we have to do there is stop, you know, slow down far enough in advance so that I have enough time to uh, to shift lanes. So go ahead and follow, keep following along, and uh, we'll see what happens when we get on the highway. So what you just heard was actually pretty awesome. Another flatbed driver was passing me, uh, and he called me on the CB to let me know that it looked like the rear section of my load had shifted. I had some stairs for that building up on the upper deck, but uh, when I pulled over uh, and checked it, it was it was completely secure. It's just it was uneven because it's stairs, so it looked like it had shifted. But it's always better to be safe than sorry, and I, I appreciate. You know, drivers like that that are going to, you know, take the time to look out for, for other drivers on the road, making sure that everybody's safe.
I hope you all enjoyed following me on along on that load as much as I like doing it because I, I don't know why, but I really love pulling the double drop trailer. So thanks for following me. Remember to hit subscribe, and as always, stay in your lane.